gentleman, John Stewart. I am not a music critic, nor historian, nor archivist. I cannot tell you where Bruce Springsteen falls in the pantheon of the American songbook. I cannot illuminate the context of his work or its roots in the folk and oral history traditions of our great nation. But I am from New Jersey. And so I can tell you what I believe. And what I believe is this. I believe that Bob Dylan and James Brown had a baby. <laughs> yes. And they abandoned this child. As you can imagine, at the time, interracial same-sex relationships <laughs> being what they were, they abandoned this child on the side of the road between the exit interchanges of 8A and 9 on the New Jersey Turnpike. That child is Bruce Springsteen. I didn't understand his music for a long time until I began to yearn, until I began to question the things that I was making and doing in my own life, until I realized that it wasn't just about the joyful parade on stage and the theatrics. It was about stories of lives that could be changed. I was working in a, a bar in New Jersey, as you would imagine, Central Jersey, right off Route 1. And every night when I closed the bar, I would get in my car, and I was driving at the time a 1976 off-brown Gremlin. <laughs> the Gremlin was a car that was invented for two reasons. Uh, one, birth control for young males. <laughs> and two, it was invented so that the Pinto wouldn't feel so bad about itself. <laughs> but I would get in my car every night, and I'd put in the music of Bruce Springsteen, and everything changed. And I never again felt like a loser. When you listen to Bruce's music, you aren't a loser. You are a character in an epic poem about losers. <laughs> but that is not the power of Bruce Springsteen. It is that whenever I see Bruce Springsteen do anything, he empties the tank every time. And the beautiful thing about this man is he empties that tank for his family, he empties that tank for his art, he empties that tank for his audience, and he empties it for his country. And we, on the receiving end of that beautiful gift, are ourselves rejuvenated, if not redeemed. And I thank you. <laughs>